Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Charlie. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious, sweet, and spicy wings. Now, this recipe was inspired by Popeye's sweet and spicy wings, except for it's my version, of course. Um, this recipe, you can make about 18 to 20 wings, so it's good enough for a small gathering or maybe a few people. It's sweet, spicy, seasoned, and absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here's all what you'll need to make your New Orleans sweet and spicy chicken wings. Let's get started with our ingredients. You'll need two pounds of chicken wingette and drumette sections, all-purpose flour, large eggs at room temperature, vegetable or canola oil, sugar, cornstarch, honey, vinegar, rice cooking wine, crystal extra hot, hot sauce. And for your seasonings, you'll need some ginger, salt, black pepper, Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. If you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole seasoning or the Sap and Mama Cajun seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Perdome's Poetry Magic, granulated onion, granulated garlic, chili powder, cayenne pepper, and some crushed red pepper flakes. And for your tools, you will need a deep fryer or a four quart pot like how I have here. And you also need a thermometer, especially if you're using the four quart pot, a mesh straining spoon, and a cooling rack with an 11 by 17 inch baking pan underneath it. And there we have it. All right, let's get straight to it. Cut one ounce in weight of the ginger off with a knife. Peel the outer skin of the ginger off with a potato peeler. Cut the ginger into small quarter pieces. Take a garlic press and press the ginger. And there we go. Preach your fire to medium heat. Let's get started with our sweet and spicy sauce. So in this small pot, add 2 third cup of water. 2 third cup of rice cooking wine, 2 tablespoons of vinegar, 2 tablespoons of extra hot hot sauce, 2 tablespoons of honey, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 1 and 1 half teaspoons of cornstarch, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, 1 teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of salt, 1 fourth teaspoon of granulated onion, 1 fourth teaspoon of granulated garlic, and a half or 1 teaspoon of your pressed ginger. Stir all your ingredients together with a whisk until combined. Let this simmer for 8 minutes, stirring occasionally. It's been about 8 minutes now, and our sweet and spicy sauce is done. Now you're gonna go ahead and turn your fire off. Let this cool completely. For best results, make this one to two days in advance. I've added my chicken wing pieces into this strainer. Rinse the chicken pieces off with cold water. I like to do this step to rinse off any blood or particles that might be on the chicken wing pieces. I've placed my chicken wing pieces into this large bowl. We're only going to add a small amount of seasoning. Add a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of Chef Paul Poudom's Poetry Magic, a half a teaspoon of granulated onion, a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic, and three tablespoons of your sweet and spicy sauce. Take your hands and coat the seasonings and the sauce onto the chicken wing pieces. Cover the bowl with a lid. Let this marinate in your refrigerator for four hours or overnight. Let's get started with our seasoned egg batter. In this medium sized bowl, I've added three large eggs at room temperature. Add one fourth teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. 1 fourth teaspoon of granulated onion and 1 fourth teaspoon of granulated garlic. 
Stir all your ingredients together with a whisk until combined. All right, let's get started with our seasoned all-purpose flour batter. Again, we're only going to add a small amount of seasoning. In this large Tupperware, add three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, one teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdome's Poetry Magic, one teaspoon of grain lady onion, one teaspoon of grain lady garlic, and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Stir all your ingredients together with a wooden spoon until combined. Make sure you stir this really well. Preheat your fire to medium heat. If you have a deep fire, preheat it to 375 degrees. All right, let's get started with heating our oil. In this medium-sized four-quart pot, add 48 fluid ounces of vegetable or canola oil right on in there. If you have a deep fryer, add the amount of oil according to the instructions on the deep fryer's manual to determine how much oil to add. Let this get hot until the oil reaches a temperature of 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Before we begin frying our chicken wing pieces, make sure that you have a cooling rack with an 11 by 17 inch baking pan and your mesh straining spoon ready. All right, I let my chicken wing pieces marinate overnight. Important step here. Before you bread and fry your chicken wing pieces, you want to make sure that you let them sit out for about one hour. This will bring them up to temperature and it ensures even frying and cooking of the chicken wing pieces. It also keeps the temperature of the oil up as well. Never fry ice cold chicken pieces. Let's bread our chicken wing pieces. I'm gonna take some chicken wing pieces, add them into the seasoned egg batter, coat the chicken wing pieces with the seasoned egg batter, Give it a shake to remove some of that egg batter off as you want a light coating. Add the chicken wing pieces into the seasoned all-purpose flour batter. Cover the Tupperware with a lid. Shake the Tupperware to coat the chicken pieces with the seasoned all-purpose flour batter. Shake the chicken pieces to remove some of that seasoned all-purpose flour batter off as you want a light coating. Add them into the hot oil. You're only going to fry about six to eight at a time. Make sure you don't overflow your pot with the chicken wing pieces. Don't add too many. Also, frying times vary depending on the size of the chicken wing pieces, the temperature of your oil, your pot, your deep fryer and your heat setting on your stove and your deep fryer. Let these fry for eight minutes. It's been about eight minutes now. Remove the fried chicken wing pieces out of the hot oil using a mesh straining spoon. Hold it for a few seconds to allow some of the oil to drain back into the pot. Transfer the chicken wing pieces onto a cooling rack with an 11 by 17 inch baking pan underneath it. Let it cool for five minutes. To reheat the sweet and spicy sauce, I've added it into the small pot. Let it get hot for about one minute on medium heat. Let's coat the chicken wing pieces in this large bowl. Add your sweet and spicy sauce right on in there. Followed by your chicken wing pieces. To coat the chicken wing pieces, Toss the chicken wing pieces with the bowl. Make sure you do this really well. Let this sit for about five minutes and after that it is ready to be served. Here is the final presentation. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen. New Orleans style sweet and spicy hot wings made by a New Orleans native. If you like my channel hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. I have an official website for all of my recipes, including this one. Go to www.charliecookandrews.com.
www.facebook.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Can't wait. Ah. Now it's time to go eat and take a bite. <clears throat> now I did make a little extra sauce here. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to dip it in the sauce and eat it. Mm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. The wings are well seasoned, has that little sweet and spicy flavor to it, has a nice little kick to it, I admit that. Um, it's not spicy to where it's overly spicy where you can't enjoy it, but when you do try it, it does have a nice little kick to it. I mean, mm -hmm. all my lips and my tongue burning right now. My whole mouth burning, as a matter of fact. Um, Y'all, delicious. Nice and tender on the outside, juicy on the inside. Very flavorful. So, give the recipe a try. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a good one. Peace. About to try me another one of these. Oh yeah. Mm.